digital media team at Rackspace. And I wanted to talk to you today um, about a problem that a lot of people have with their WordPress site. If they end up migrating and they change their domain or their subdomain or their directory wherever their WordPress blog is held. And we recently found this with our site called Digital Destinations. Now Digital Destinations, it's a um, kind of like an online magazine for digital marketers. It talks about different trends and different things like that. We have stories about marketing to millennials, um, you know, understanding where it's at, how to, how to, what, what happens when you place the at sign on different tweets, as well as, you know, discussions on objective based campaigns and an image template to really make one image that works across all of social media. Anyway, we, we had this site and its original directory was here rackspace.com slash content. And we decided to move it um, when we migrated our blog to be digital.rackspace.com. Now let me tell you why this is a problem. Um, when you upload an image to the um, WordPress media library, it'll end up attaching something and it'll look something like this, image1.jpg. And then it will take this link and embed it in the HTML of your post. Now, if you keep your same domain or directory or subdomain, it's gonna work just fine. But when you move to something like we did to digital.rackspace.com, this is what happens. As you scroll down, let's go to, let's look at the post right here, seven tech logos before they became iconic. And if you scroll down, you'll see that right here. See how it, the images have broken, right? And so it's because they have the wrong URL associated with them. So it's serving up a broken image. This is really annoying, and you know, if you have a major blog with tons of different pages, um, there's a programmatic solution where you can go in to the database and actually update um, each of these particular URLs. But a lot of people, a lot of bloggers may not have that sort of expertise, um, or you might be like us, this blog actually only had about 30 something posts in it. So we decided to just go ahead and fix it by hand, and this is how you're gonna do it. So you go into the back end for the particular post, and even as you scroll down, you're gonna notice that you see the same broken image. All you have to do, click it, click the pencil to edit it, and it's going to find it in the media library because again, you've migrated, that file's still there, it's just the path to the file is broken. And if you go ahead and click update, boom, it's gonna update it right there for you. So we come here, same thing, update, come here, update, and we're gonna do this for all the different um, images in the post. Again, if you only have a handful of posts, this is probably not too cumbersome. You can knock it out in less than an hour. If you have thousands of posts, you may wanna look at more of a programmatic solution to fix this. Okay, we're almost done, and there we have it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna click update, and this is going to update my post. Now, I'm gonna come here and view my post, and let's see what it looks like. All right, I view my post, and I scroll down, and there we go. We have all of our images already plugged into the post. Just wanna give you one word of caution. Sometimes, even after you update it, and you go to view the post, you may still see broken images. Now, this could be because um, the, your, your blog actually has a caching plugin or your host has um, caching enabled and that will help your page load faster um, on the user end and consequently that cache may not be updated with the correct image path. If that's the case, what you'll want to do is take that same um, URL right here and open it up in a different browser and I, I guarantee you that if you do that it'll open up and it'll work just fine. Anyway, Thanks for tuning in. I know that this is like a problem that is particularly annoying, especially after you do all the work to migrate your blog. Um, but this is a quick solution for you. And, you know, we'd love you to stop by Digital Destinations. It's digital.rackspace.com. Check it out. We have a lot of good articles for all you digital marketers out there. Thanks a lot.